All right, we're just going to add some finishing touches to this um, painting that I've been working on. And let's see. Where's my ink? I am missing a bottle of ink. Where did it go? <clears throat> well, there it is. I'm gonna put a little sepia. Not putting this with you. <clears throat> um, let's put a little bit of white. A little Bombay white. There might not be much left in here.
Well, welcome back, Corey. I'm not sure what all I'm doing here. I just thought I'd get up and work on it a little bit. If I can find the right colors. I think I'm half asleep, maybe. I feel like I'm doing this sort of in reverse order. I should have um, inked this black maybe before I painted. I don't know. Why was your brother in the hospital? brother has tapeworm. What? How does one get tapeworm?
That's why you should say no to raw sushi. Yeah, he'll be good. Tapeworm, I think, is something people can be treat can be treated pretty quickly. No fun though. No fun. might be a little bit sloppy here. Maybe I need to stop and come back another time.
<clears throat> good morning to whoever has joined us and is watching. Starting to get that numbness in my hand again. My hand feels like it's going numb because, um, I don't know, maybe it's some kind of carpal tunnel. Um, it's, um, it's just a, like I use it a lot and if I keep my grip, you know, like around this pin for too long, I start to feel it. Um, oh, let's see what the problem here is. The problem. 
problem with this part is most of the stuff goes off paper and I misinterpreted it in my drawing yesterday. Anyway, I'll just hint at it a little bit. Alright, so that was just a little black outline. I think, I think that would suck a lot. Um, I don't know. I seem to deal with it all right. Um, I just, sometimes it bothers me and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it usually bothers me the most when I journal. If I sit and I write in my sketchbook, which I do a lot. Let me throw this out at you real quick. See all this writing? Anytime I do a lot of writing like that, um, I do like two pages at a time or so, and when I do, well, it starts to bother me. Um, I let my color dry out. Look at this. I mixed up some nice color right here for this, and I let it dry out yesterday. So, I'm going to try and remember what I did. It seems like it was some pink. And then I think there was some earth red. I could be totally wrong. I'm going to put a little bit less of the reds and get a little bit more of the pink going. And I think maybe it was the magenta. Hey, look at there. We got four people watching. What's up, everybody? Roll call. <laughs> who's, who's watching? Um, say hello or something. So I know who I'm talking to. I'm just mixing up a little... Um, I don't know, octopus red. I don't know what color octopus really are. I'm making this stuff up. Um, I'm going to put a second coat on here. I mixed up a little bit more pink in it this time. I'm just going to paint right over this black because it seems to be plenty transparent. Hey, Dorinka Meister, Dorinka Meister, how are you today? Thanks, uh, thanks for what? Oh. Yep. <clears throat> Dante the Devil Slayer is my welcome, welcoming party. How are you this morning, Dorinka? Am I saying your name right?
This um, ink has got this pearlescent stuff going on in it. And it makes me feel like I'm painting fingernails. So pretty. Such pretty nails. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get crazy. Why did they nickname you Dante? Well, it looks like uh, we lost Darinka. kind of hard to tell what I've painted right and what I haven't painted right because um, the pearlescent glare There's stuff in my paint. Where's this stuff coming from? People always ask me what this nail is for. Right there. For getting stuff like that out of your paper. 
out of your paint. Is that better? Are we starting to understand? Thanks. Just had to put a couple of coats on stuff and then do some shading. And then I think it'll look halfway decent. Oh, um, so let's put a coat. Let's put a different color. I like the blue. But I'm thinking some green here and there to change that blue up. Some would be nice. I just stuck that right in my pink paint. Alright. Thanks. Alright, so for Halloween, I dyed my hair white so I could be Dante from devil may cry video game and the dye wouldn't come out for about a week so people just started calling me Dante and it stuck gotcha well if it's alright with you I'm not going to call you Dante well so for online right um, did I shake up the screen I don't know if I shook this stuff up let me double check I think I shook it up before, I just wasn't sure. So it's not that I really want my painting, my water back here to be this color, totally. Um, I just wanted to change up the blue a little bit. So I think what I'm gonna do is after this dries, put a coat of blue over it, and because it's so transparent, I'm pretty sure that the green will show through in some places. I'm just going to be a little random about it. It doesn't <clears throat> look like there's a whole lot of difference. Maybe a little bit. But like I said, just, just a little something to change it up. You know what, I might put some of the blue on top of it before it dries. Maybe it'll mix in better. Almost looks like I'm putting some kind of strange chemical on here, and there's some kind of chemical reaction taking place the way this pearlescent stuff works. I 
I haven't used this since yesterday, so we better shake it up. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be calling you a pink fluffy unicorn either. You know, like, I have to have some limits. I think we as people should draw the line somewhere. I think I'm going to go with the, the name your mama intended. Corey. That sound good? Can we agree that your mama knew what she was doing when she named you Corey? So the important part, two important parts really for this coat, number one that I cover up all that white that I left behind before, and two, it just looks better when it has a um, second coat on it. So I'm going to put a second coat on it. No problem, uh, Corey. You need to get some sleep, dude. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> Somebody else is watching now. That's awesome. Um, whoever it is that just started watching, I'm going to need you to take the place of Corey, who uh, Dante Devil Slayer. And um, <clears throat> talk to me a little bit, so... So this is not a totally silent video. No pressure. Just say hello to start with. Ah, oh, fine then. Just leave me. It's too much pressure, I guess. Good morning. To who do I have the pleasure of watching this creation unfold? What do you think? Is it coming along? I'm trying to line it up here for you. Is it good? Is it bad? Oh, <clears throat> I'm kind of putting a second coat on things. And I'm going to do a little shading. Add some depth to it, I hope. I'm using uh, FW Pearlescent Galactic Blue. No, what is it? Um, yes, Galactic Blue for the water, for the background. The title of this painting is Amphibious, and it is part of 52 paintings that I'm going to do this year, one a week. If all goes well. This is actually the second one, so I think I'm actually behind a week. Is this the third week of 2020? I think I may be behind. <clears throat> so 
So if you're watching me right now, you have um, every right to share your opinion. Good, bad, and different. You can shout insults. You can proclaim praise. Whatever you want to do. I welcome all sorts of comments. And I'm pretty good at uh, constructive criticism, so don't be afraid to hurt my feelings. I mean, don't hurt my feelings on purpose now. But it's okay if you do hurt my feelings. Or if you say something that's harsh. I can handle it. Tell me what you're thinking. I can handle any kind of criticism. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. It's probably kind of hard to see with this glare. Let me see if turn that light off. Does turning that light off help? Not a whole lot. Let's try. Let me give you another close up. This is amphibious. The reason it's shiny is I'm using pearlescent. Uh, inks um, FW pearlescent ink I wonder what would happen if I turn this light on let's see oh nope. never never mind we won't turn that light on just breaking things here don't mind me I gotta turn this light back on because I can't see what I'm doing. All right. Um, so as I was saying, this is a painting called Amphibious. It is one of 52 paintings I plan on doing this year in this series. One a week. This is the second one because I think I'm behind a week. The very first one was called Potential, and it was awful. I might have to redo it, maybe one day. I'm just saying my figure, skill, figure drawing skills are not what I really would like for them to be, you know. I hope I'm getting better, but right now I'm a little displeased with my figure drawing skills. One reason I'm not as good at figure drawing as I should be is because I sort of lived my whole life in fear of drawing the figure. This is intimidating. And so, I haven't practiced all my life like I have at some things. I mean, I feel like I can draw, right? Like, I'm, my drawing is not awful. But my figure drawing abilities need some work. So, I've been practice, practicing figure drawing for... Well, off and on for a long time, but not enough to just like really master it, I don't think. And so I've actually been practicing more in the uh, end of 2019 than I ever did before. So I'm trying not to live my life in fear and just do the best I can. And let the work speak for itself. And you know, improve, hone my craft.
definitely do not mind the quiet observer. So y'all stick around. But if you got it in you to say something, say something. Tell me what you think is wrong with this picture. Or tell me what you like about it. Either way. Tell me how you came across this channel. Tell me what you did yesterday or this morning or what you're about to do. Peach, welcome back. Uh, when was the last time you saw me? Oh my gosh, uh, is this a trick question? Um, uh, it is a trick question because I know, like, I know you, but I can't remember who Peach is. Uh, um, uh, I remember you watching me a lot before, but I can't remember who you are in real life. Remember this uh, whole YouTube thing has like this anonymity, anonymity, an anonymous thing going on? Peach, 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 peach. Milena? No. Marcy? I mean, yeah, no. Peach, peach. I'm drawing a blank, peach. Remind me who you are. When was the last time I saw you? I don't know, because I can't remember who you are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the one we talked about... Wait, what were we talking about? Like, uh, your mom and dad were there, and we were at the student show. Is that is that the peach? It was the... Um, Go for it, school district art show. Is that right? Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. When was the last time I saw you? You mean like saw you on YouTube or saw you in real life? Actually haven't been on here in a long time seems like was it November are you talking about um, saw you watching my show or me see you doing your show do you do shows on YouTube I know having like a conversation through a dialogue box is not the same as having a conversation in real life is it so many things to clear up. You quit recording? Um, yeah, I, uh, I didn't, I haven't made anything. Well, I mean, I have. A <coughs> <coughs> I was making something like every, like three videos a week. And I slowed down for Chris, uh, for Thanksgiving, I think it was. And then I had the hardest time picking back up. And I was concentrating on school stuff. But now I think I'm going to get back in the swing of things. I'm just going to do live shows for a little while maybe and record the process of like this painting and other paintings that I do. So why'd you quit? why did you quit recording? I quit because kind of a Thanksgiving holidays. Why did you quit?
<laughs> you weren't having fun anymore? Why were you not having fun? What was fun about it to begin with? And then... Did, it, did what was fun get old? Or... You know, like, what happened? Why is it not fun anymore? And am I missing anything on here? Have I missed... I'm trying to recoat the blue. And I think I've got it all. So maybe that. Did I miss that spot? That looks like it needs a second coat. I don't think I coated that at all. It's like crazy how you can miss stuff. So easily miss stuff. Well, so here's the key, I think, Peach. Um, you know, the drawing part is the fun part every time the video process is just to like share it with the world I guess and that part's not necessarily any fun except I'm having fun talking to you while I work that's kind of fun and um, potentially drawing some income from this is kind of fun I don't make a lot of money or anything but uh, I have made a couple hundred dollars. Um, I've gotten tips. That was cool. And so, uh, if you're going to be drawing anyway, and you don't mind sharing it with the world, then psh, you just draw and record it, you know, while you're doing it. And don't put a whole lot of effort, maybe, into the video part of it. Just let it be there for people to look at if they want to. Yeah, yeah, something is missing on the um, uh, drawing of the girl. I was saying earlier that my um, my figure drawing skills are not fantastic. I'll give you a little closer look up. Let me see how much I can get this in the screen. Just got to get it in there just right. And so, yeah, if you'll notice, I've got goldfish, of course, like, um, covering up the naughty bits. And I think that's part of what's missing. Um, but I haven't, I also haven't done all the shading that I'm going to do. So I'll, I'll try and correct some things. There's some other stuff in here, like right here. I don't like the way that looks. Um, I don't like the way that looks. I need to add some skin color right there shading in in general but I'm gonna have to let it be for a little bit it needs to dry better and <clears throat> um, I'm gonna come back to it something in the middle I think it needs something extra in the middle like right here maybe maybe like a goldfish um, right there that's probably a really good idea Actually, in the original picture, I believe her belly button was in the middle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's got, like... <clears throat> Let me see if I can quickly add a couple of details that will help here. One, she has... I, actually, there's also some... Um, the tentacles continue to go up and they thin out right here in the middle of each tentacle and I haven't drawn that in yet but right here no right 
here. So my reference picture is like upside down compared to my Actually looks kind of high, but I don't know, that's not quite right either, but I think I'm looking at it backwards. Let's see if I can add just a little bit of the skin tone. Green seaweed in the back to make the pinkish red pop. Peach, you are a genius. You need to draw more and you need to put it on YouTube so I can learn from you, girl. Not everything is going to be fun. All right. Some things are just work. And that's okay. I hope I can remember. You're going to have to remind me of this later on. The uh, green seaweed. <laughs> You're smart enough to recognize it needed some green seaweed, girl. Don't, don't sell yourself short. <clears throat> some people just have an eye for this kind of thing. And I think that uh, you're right about the seaweed. I just got lazy when I was drawing it and I didn't include any, but I think you're right. Just need some green seaweed. I'll, um, I, I really feel like I'm going to have to wait though to add the seaweed until later. <coughs> Because for one thing, I can't stop coughing. <coughs> I might have to go get me some water. Anyway, <coughs> that was um, an hour and one minute of of this thing. So I'll come back and do some more of it later. Thanks for all the ideas. Uh, thanks for the thumbs up. Y'all have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. Uh, and there also might be a sped up version of this somewhere. So thank you, Peach. You have a good day. Talk to you later.